Check this out. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Go at T minus five, four, three, two, one. Ignition. This is ResortLoop.com, the gateway to the magic. Here's your host, Tim Scott. Hey, everybody! Thanks for joining us. I'm Tim Scott. Joined by. His lovely wife, Dawn, again. Again. And we're going to have a few of these because we're going to talk about our, what would you call it, late spring, early summer sojourn 2022, what mm-hmm. we did for our vacation period. Come yes. Up, that came up. So, uh, we, this all started out with a plan to rent a house for the first time. Mm-hmm. And initially, we were going to look at, you want to do a, the beach was on everybody's list. For, right. We thought maybe go. Myrtle or something. Yes, Ugh. but <laughs> we found out after looking that uh, actually the housing was more uh, affordable to rent a house in surprise, the Orlando area. That's right. So where did we go to look for this house? What was our uh, search engine or how do we decide? Well, we looked at Verbo and just mm-hmm. because that's a very hot rental place and you're a little more protected if you go with Verbo yes. because um, the people that rent their houses through Verbo, um, I, I think that it's it's just better than going through like an individual and foreshadowing. just a little more protective. Foreshadowing, it turned out to be a good thing. Now yeah. continue. Yeah, <laughs> it turned out to be a really good thing because the we went with my mom and dad, my sister, her two kids... You know, of course, Tim and I and our daughter, Mackenzie, and just how our family dynamic works best with our sleep habits, it was best that we pretty much had our own rooms. Yes. Um, So we were looking at like a five or a six bedroom house. Correct. So um, we found a a really pretty six bedroom house, at least very pretty online. We wanted a pool. And we wanted a private pool. Yep. So we thought this would be great. We also, my mom really enjoys like looking at water. And this one had a lake in the back, you know, like a back, mm-hmm. that was what we were, our view was of a lake out right. of the backyard. Exactly. So we booked it through Verbo. And I had a few, we actually booked it last year with the thought of traveling last July. And then um, our trip got postponed. And so we um, made it for early summer of this year. Right. So I had a few questions for the owner, and you can contact them directly through the Verbo, mm-hmm. um, right. their Verbo page. So I contact. I went to look at that. I could not contact her because it said that the house was no longer available, or the listing was no longer available. Interesting. And I was like, "This is not good." Doesn't look good. <laughs> so, um, thankfully, I kept all my emails, and I went back through my email, and I emailed the the woman who owned the house. And just said, hey, you know, I have a few questions. However, I'm seeing that your listing is no longer available. Are we still on, you know, at least mm-hmm. for our week? Because maybe they decided to, you know, take it down for whatever reason. She messages back. I'm trying to find you another house. However, I'm only able to find you four or five bedrooms, not six. And I'm looking for you because we sold our house. Oh. <laughs> I was like. Oh, this is not good. (laughs) No. So, um, thankfully, we were still within the cancellation period by two whole days. Right. For Verbo. And their cancellation period, it can run. Some owners do not allow cancellations for any reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some owners allow cancellation like 90 days ahead of time, 60, 30. Some even are two weeks ahead of time. Right. So, uh, thankfully, ours did fall within the... um, cancellation period and fortunately she was a one of the two weekers <laughs> that allowed a cancellation yes. within two weeks um so i i thanked her you know for trying to look but said that we would find one on our own right i just right. wanted that I... control crazy so we canceled and we got our money back there was no problem there so easy it was very easy through verbo i was very pleased right. so anyway we went on a search for another house and yes. And surprisingly, there weren't a whole lot of options available for the amount of bedrooms we were looking at. Right. Right. Because I'm sure people like us, we, we booked months and months in advance. Right. Um, and this was just two weeks, a little more than two weeks ahead mm-hmm. that we had to find a house. So we did find one. This one actually had seven bedrooms, which worked out even better. Yes. Because 
um, you and I were the only ones that had to share a room. Everybody else right. got their own room. Lucky me. <laughs> or, yeah. Unlucky yeah, you. Yeah, lucky, lucky you. <laughs> unlucky you, but lucky me. <laughs> That's all right. It's good. <laughs> And it was so, in the uh, Champions Gate, uh, mm-hmm. Davenport area. Right. Which was a, a nice location. Mm-hmm. It was pretty convenient to everything. Yes, There's, you yes. know, Publix there, Walmart, restaurants. Right. Um, we chose mostly to eat at the house. Um, you know, it was just easier for us. Right. I, I'm not a big, ever since the pandemic, I'm not a big go into a restaurant kind of person just yet. We got you into I a couple, will. though. Yeah, I, I will go. But, <laughs> you know, to go frequently, I'm probably not comfortable. Right. Um, that, and I'm sort of introverted. I don't want to be around people anymore. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not that many people anyway. Right, right. No, I get so, it. Um, but it was good. So we went to Publix, went to Walmart, got some stuff to make some pretty tasty meals at the house. Yes. Lots of bottled water. Yes, for sure. Oh, we went through that a lot. We did. Crazy. So, um, the owner of the house that we ended up renting was very, very nice. He communicated very well. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say if you're looking to run a house through Verbo, um, ask questions about the house, whether you have questions or not, just make some up and then see how quickly you get a response. Yes. Um, cause that's kind of key because each house is, I think, different. It's owned by different owners. So different owners and the different owners have different management companies. Yes, they do. Um, ours I think was really, really good as far as the management company yes. was concerned. The owner of the house did a really nice job communicating mm-hmm. with us. Right. Um, for the most part, we had a little trouble toward the end, but I don't think it was his fault. I think like once you get there like he's able to see the messages but wasn't able to respond yeah it was sound like it was maybe a verbo end of things it might have been um but i was able to contact him like to go back into his listing and make a brand new one through his listing and contact him that way and he was very very responsive right away yeah so um the and research like I, every family is different what they like what they're um comfortable what they're tolerate yes. Um, I was looking for kind of peace and quiet right. and we got that somewhat, but the rental houses in champions gate, there's, there's two parts to champions gate. There's the owner's part where they are not allowed to rent out right. their houses. They can have their friends and family borrow them, but they yes. cannot go through Verbo and rent them out on a regular basis. It's not registered as an actual, you no, know, right. Rental house, short term rentals. Right. Yes. Um, and then the other area is definitely rental houses. I think they have townhouses, apartments. They have a lot of stuff there. Yeah. It's pretty big. R- Champions Gate is pretty big. Yeah, there are a lot of different developments and mm-hmm. different things going on there. Yes. But like you said, when you get to a bunch of, uh, well, I don't know if you said it yet, a lot of renters, not all renters are quiet. No, definitely not. A lot we of are rent- quiet. We are quiet. And a lot of other renters we found out like to share their music with you oh my goodness yes and it may not be your taste in music (laughs) right so um it was difficult sometimes to enjoy the pool because um other renters had their music really really loudly um we were caught between two different renters um on our left and on our right that were both blaring music that was very different styles of music (laughs) and we just ended up going in because it was it was just too noisy. We couldn't even talk in the pool. No, they were not playing theme park loops. I'll just no, say they that. they were not. Um, but the pool deck area of our house was great. It had a nice little couch and two chairs. The outdoor furniture. Mm-hmm. It had a table with six chairs. Yep. Um, all the pools were the same. Um, they were nice little pools, about five feet deep, and they came with a spa, um, which is not a hot tub. It's the same pool temperature. Right. Um, and... But it has like the little bubbly jets. Had jets stuff. on it, yeah. So, yeah, that was very nice. And there were pool lights we could turn on at night. Mm-hmm. Yep, there was a pool light for that. And it's on a timer. So if you're like, okay, I only want to be in the pool for a half hour, 45 minutes, you know. Yes. And if you want to get your pool heated, that was additional. Though. Yes, it was an additional charge. I think it came out to slightly less than $40 a day with tax. Which sounds pricey, but I'm not getting in the pool if it's too cold. No. And we ended up, um, and this is why I had to contact the owner afterward, Um the first day we were there on a Saturday, I, we have a pool at home. So I'm pretty good judge of what oh, the pool temperature oh yeah, is. You know what it is. Because we've had a pool forever, either at my parents' house or our house. Um, stuck my toe in. I'm like, oh, this is about 82, 83. <laughs> and while most people might like that, I'm an 86, 87 kind oh, yeah. of girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you wouldn't think three degrees would make that much of a difference, but it really it does. does. It does. Um, so I thought, gosh, this doesn't feel like it's on. And one thing about the management company at Champions Gate, 
is you cannot contact them for non-emergency things unless it's during business hours. Your arrival time is four o'clock and we arrived on a Saturday at four o'clock and they were closed by four o'clock on Saturday. Right. So we had to wait until Monday. So we had two days without pool heat. And actually, before I could even contact the non-emergency number, the maintenance men for the pool came by and they were cleaning the pool and, you know, doing their regular maintenance. And I asked them, I said, is there a pool heat on? And I, I think that must be turned on like right at the house somewhere, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. He went around, comes back and he's like, no, ma'am, the house is the pool. heat's not onto the house. It's the pool. And I was like, didn't think so, but right, right. thanks. So I was able to contact them and they must have come out pretty quickly because the, so. the pool heated up very, very quickly. Right. Or they got the green light to go ahead and do whatever they had to do. Oh yeah. They they said they weren't allowed to, but um, maybe they called and were allowed Could to. Be. So, but our, we did get the pool heat and it was so nice and yes. so comfortable. Did we mention the pool was covered and closed? Yes. It, no, we did not. It's, it was, it had a screen enclosure all yes. around it. That so it filtered out a little bit of the sun, so the sun, sun wasn't quite as brutal, mm -hmm. and it helped cut down on things like bugs and lizards and for, oh, for sure, that kind of thing that we saw going around yeah. there. Yeah. So, but yeah, we really enjoyed the pool, enjoyed the pool deck a lot. Mm -hmm. So there was some pool floats and things there that I'm not sure if the owner actually provided those or if maybe they were just left from previous guests. I'm guessing that's what it is. People Probably. might fly in or drive yeah. down, don't have room to take them home, and yeah, just leave them for future guests to enjoy. Yeah, which we appreciated. Yeah, it was nice. Um, our our house had a nice little game room. It had um, a little putting green. I only stepped in there once. The but game there room. was no golf ball or club. Well, that would, that would be a problem. <laughs> so though. it had a putting green, but you couldn't really use it. You couldn't putt. Yeah. It had um, a pool table with uh, two pool sticks. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. And it had foosball that had I didn't see the foosball table. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it was, it was a nice little game room. Yep. So, and then we had one bedroom with an ensuite on the first floor and we gave that one to my mom. Um, so she could, you know, have her own bathroom be right there. Right. And then uh, there was another bedroom that was uh, minion themed. It was yep. really cute. And that was also on the first floor. We initially thought my mom and dad would be in separate bedrooms on the first floor. So they wouldn't have to go upstairs. Um, but the minions bedroom did not have its own bathroom. Right. It, it was, was like kind of across the house. And we thought that probably wasn't the best scenario for my dad. Right. So my dad actually ends up going upstairs, but M Mackenzie claimed that room and she, she really liked it. She liked it. Yep. And then also on the first floor, uh, there was a laundry room with a washer and dryer that we did yes. take advantage of. That was nice. And then they had, um, a nice living room area with a pretty big TV and the, um, like a, a leather, a leather like, um, sectional that was pretty yes. large it was a very it was very big mm -hmm. like, yeah we could all fit on that yeah so and like then a couch and a half and then a full couch going the other way there was lots of seating space mm -hmm. there. yeah it was great and then he had a dining room table that seated eight yes and we brought a puzzle along and so we worked on that <laughs> throughout the week that was really yep. fun and then the kitchen i thought was pretty well stocked with everything we needed as yeah, far as like yeah. dishes, pots, pans, True. those type of things, coffee maker. And that's the other thing you're going to, if you choose to do that, if it doesn't specifically say what kind of a coffee maker, um, because at home we have a reusable basket and this one didn't have a reusable, reusable basket, filters, yes. we needed to bring coffee filters for yep. that. Um, and my mom and dad have a Keurig, so they wouldn't have, you know, my mom thought, well, maybe I need to pack some stuff, but she didn't. Nope. The only issue we had with the, um, kitchen was the dishwasher we were not able to use it and i think this is a definite florida thing uh it has to be um because i've never seen this before um the dishwasher was just filled with mold it was just yes. covered in it it was so gross and it smelled so badly it was not pleasant no but again i called the non-emergency number during i had to wait till monday to call right and a maintenance guy came out Later that day it was, the, was same. It the same day or Tuesday. Oh, it was Tuesday. That's right. He came to. I called yeah. Monday. He came Tuesday. And he was working on that for a while. He d he. It was over an hour. I don't I think, think he expected it to be what it. Was. I don't think he thought so either. Because he initially, be. bless his little heart, he came in with a teeny little spray bottle and one little rag. <laughs> <laughs> we are all laughing like, yeah, this yeah. is not. He, well, he's, he goes, I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> and he came back with a whole arsenal of things. Right, right. So, but um, he cleaned it. It still had a smell to it. I don't think he took apart, um. Some of the other parts in that dishwasher that probably had mold in them. Yeah. And I, I don't even know how to clean that. So I ended up hand washing the dishes the um, Yes. I don't know if they the had to week. 
after he was done, maybe between tenants, they're going to have to run bleach or vinegar. I don't know what you would do through that. Yeah, something. I just wasn't going to use it because I just, I mean, mold's yeah. a well-known cause of illness. Oh, I, yeah. I just can't do that. Yeah. Um, so we hand wash stuff. And yep. I had brought some paper plates and plastic knives and forks mm -hmm. and stuff. So it wasn't too bad. No. So we, we, we handled that okay. We did. We did. And then upstairs, there was another nice little, like, living area that had a nice little sectional to it yep had a projection tv yes but we didn't figure it out i didn't figure it out and nobody was actually hanging up hanging out upside mm -mm. upstairs anyway unless they were taking a nap yeah i think we just all enjoyed being together so that's we were all kind of together on the first floor yep. so um and then my dad had a room that was pretty identical to my mom's room um with the ensuite king size bed and ensuite and then um initially i thought my niece would choose the Mickey Mouse room that had two twin beds in it, mm -hmm. but she wanted the Star Wars room. Heck yeah, she did. So, and that had a double bed and a single in it, and she enjoyed that. My sister ended up in the Mickey Mouse room, <laughs> and that had a Jack and Jill bathroom to share. And then there was one other bathroom in the hallway, a full bathroom in the hallway. Right. And then my nephew, who's very, very tall, he claimed the king bed there. He that was enjoying the king bed. Yeah, that was. The, oh, yeah. He's, he was like, how do I get me some one of these? Because I think he just has a <laughs> double bed at home. Yes. And then we had the um, kind of the master bedroom upstairs. Yes, absolutely. That had a very large soaking tub mm -hmm. and um, a nice shower and all that. Yes. So it was very, very nice house. It had, it had nice furnishings to it. So it did. It was very good. Um, I think overall, the cleaning ladies that come in and clean because you pay a cleaning fee, or we did, um, right. that was part of the rental was the cleaning fee. Um, I don't know. I don't, I think they come in, they surface clean really quick and they're out. I think so. I think they have so many houses to do. I don't mm -hmm. think they're deep cleaning or no. deeply sanitizing. Probably. No. Like we would. Like you would yeah. expect at a Disney resort. Let's just say that. Right. So it probably that the house could stand a really good deep cleaning, oh, yeah. I think. Yeah. But overall, it was perfectly fine. And we it had was. a we had a really nice time, you know, there. Just um if you ever do rent a house, like this was our very first time. Um, they said, you know, you may want to bring some cleaning products. And I didn't because I thought I'm not cleaning anything. It's my, my vacation. The house is not mine. <laughs> and I thought, well, maybe I should have. But I thought, well, it's really not my responsibility to clean somebody else's house that they rent out. Right, right. But overall, it was great. And the owner, the reason I contacted him was I wanted um, a refund because it was almost $40 a day for the pool heat. Um, I asked for a refund of two days. And so he mm -hmm. did credit back our credit card um, for two days of no pool heat. So I thought that was very fair. So he was, it was, he was a good owner to work with. He was. Um, would I rent that house again? Yes, if it was in a different location, <laughs> I uh, I wouldn't rent because literally the houses are so close together. You could stand in the side yard and just about touch both houses at the same time. Yeah, I think we need to mention how close these houses were and how they close, were very the, close the pools were and the, the pools in the back were just as close as the house. Yeah, they probably weren't even six feet apart, eight feet at best. Now we had a conversation with the get one guest from pool to pool, and they're asking us <laughs> how to turn the lights on in our pool. Yeah, so, so yeah, but you know, I mean. Everybody has different tolerance levels. Everybody has different right. tastes. You know, that might be the area for you. Right. So, and I will say. And they were, they were very um, affordable housing. That's uh, affordable rentals for the week. I mean, I thought what we paid for it was really good value for our money. Oh, for that many rooms, for that many people mm -hmm. to really uh, be did. in the same residence comfortably, yes. Yes. So. But one of the reasons we could maybe put up a little bit with the noise is the first floors of these, as is, as is most, I guess, all the Florida homes now, uh, what you call it, concrete, cement, mm -hmm. you know, for hurricanes. And actually, when things were closed, even if the stuff was loud outside, we didn't hear it too much unless you were close to a window. Right. And we're, all the windows were, you know, closed. Yes, because we had the air on. Yeah. That was kind of the weak spot if there was lots of noise outside. Yeah. So it wasn't too, wasn't too terrible. Some The one that was right next door, they were only with there one night. They moved out on Sunday. Um, their music was... It was thumping, <laughs> really thumping. So you could, yeah, they were having a good time, <laughs> but uh, we could feel that inside our house. But So I think in this episode, we'll just talk about the actual rain of the house before we get into actually what we did. Mm -hmm. But again, give, give us a couple tips. If somebody was looking into a house, cause you know, big family going down. Mm -hmm. Cause you know, most people listening to the show, they're booking Disney resorts right? right. or Disney Springs resorts, yes. universal resorts, that kind of thing. 
And this is a big change for us to say to one, we've never rented a house before. Have we? No, we have. no, it's our first time, and especially down at Disney. When mm-hmm. we needed uh, larger accommodations, we had uh, we were at Old Key West in a, in a what, three bedroom, two bedroom, two bedroom, two bedroom. While they're big and spacious for that many people, it's right, not especially work. when you're not all like in living in the same household. If you're all living in the same household, that probably would be okay. You'd be because, used to that, kind yeah, because there yeah. was just like two bedrooms. And then my sister and her kids, when we went to Old Key West, they slept on the pullouts. And right, that right. wouldn't be comfortable for a whole week, I no, don't think. No, no. So, but it was. It was very nice for everybody to have their own space, have their own room. Um, and yeah, it just worked out really, really well for us. Now, would you? what would you suggest menu-wise? Having some kind of menu thought of before mm-hmm. you even get down there? Yes. My nephew was very instrumental in what he... He really helped plan the menu because I was like, I, I don't know. I mean, right. it's my family. I know what they like, don't like, whatever. Right. Um, well, you want to have something good too. You don't have something that's you know terribly involved or takes half a day right, to prepare. Right. Right. Um, we did not have a, some houses come with gas grills. We did not have one of those. Mm-hmm. So um, anything that we cooked, we needed to do it inside the house. Yes. So um, I make these little um, sandwiches out of the Hawaiian sweet rolls. Love those sandwiches. Yes. We didn't couldn't find the sweet rolls, but we actually found them in slider buns yeah we usually use a different version of the roll yeah like, i think the dinner rolls actually is what we use i don't know but yeah. we got one with the uh slider version of the same thing which mm-hmm. i that might be the new way we're making I them i think now. so too so which is the ham and swiss cheese sandwiches with a little sauce on top so yep. Yep. that we did that we did um maybe we'll do a cooking segment where we make those if there's any interest <laughs> maybe and then we did homemade pizza one night yes that was good yep what else did, oh we did sloppy joe one night because that's easy um, we got like a bag of like Walmart has just those, um, salads that come in the bag that have the dressing right with them. So we didn't yes. have to buy a separate thing of dressing yes. so that we had that actually two nights. Oh, and our very first day there on Sunday, when we were on our way out to Walmart, we kept seeing signs for like, um, watermelon and right. cantaloupe. Right. I thought, well, let's, fo- let's get some fresh fruit. Let's follow this. And it was a lady. She was setting up a nice little produce stand. And On we ended up. Yeah. We, were going, we were going northbound on 27, mm-hmm. going to the Walmart. Saw mm-hmm. these signs every what few hundred feet. Mm-hmm. Like, do we pass it? No, there's another sign. Yeah. Oops, we have to get on 192. <laughs> yep. So um, we ended up getting like a half, a dozen and a half years of, of yes. sweet corn. That was really tasty. It was very good. So very good. that was quite yummy. And I looked it up because I knew people were making corn like in the oven or whatever. Mm-hmm. I thought, well, maybe that would just be an easier thing to do rather than husk it and then boil it. Right. Um, and I ran across, make it in the microwave. And so it was... Four minutes per ear of corn that you had. And then, of course, we used a um, towel to get them out of the microwave. And you cut off the big end. And it literally just slides right out. I saw no a video silk, of that No once. nothing. I, I, I couldn't believe it was correct. Right. That it actually worked. <laughs> so That's we had that one night. Um, we had Culver's one night for dinner. We did. We did we, get takeout yeah, a couple times. Yeah. A couple times. One time. Yeah. I think just once, and then the other two, we were at restaurants. That's true. So. That's true. We'll talk about those on another episode, because those yeah. are worth mentioning. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. All right. So any other tips for anybody looking for a I would house? just say the most important tip is, you know, when you're looking at a house, communicate with the host of that house first and make sure there's going to be good communication. Um, some of them, like, don't look over the weekend. So make mm-hmm. sure you do it during yes. the week if, for a house you're interested in and, you know, see who is very prompt at emailing back. And um, I would say if you're not sure on the size of the house, go a little bit larger than maybe you think. If you're not, mm-hmm. sh- if you're not sure, you're kind of teetering, like, you know, we need yeah. five bedrooms with six would be nice. I might just go with the six if you can. Yeah. I think the three kids really enjoyed having their own bedrooms. And then, well, my mom and dad always have separate bedrooms and then you and I shared. Yep. It was good. It was we, very good. It was, it was a nice little house. We really enjoyed it. And uh, I, I think I would do, I think I would go through Verbo again um, to rent a house if we weren't here. It's, it was really difficult not being on Disney property. It was. That that took some change, but we weren't doing too many no, Disney stuff. But it's no. just kind of still weird being in the area. Yeah. And it's always weird when you go from being used to like a Disney hotel and the mm-hmm. Disney cleanliness. Yeah. And the Disney setup of things to go to something that's not. Right. It took us. It took some adjustment, adjusting here. It, like, it did. It did. Some but, things aren't. Yeah. This. I know we're going a little bit long on this, but the sprinklers in the yard <laughs> were not sprinklers. And I did call the non-emergency number, and I said, <laughs> "I think the your 
you know, automatic sprinklers, I think the heads are not on them. No. It was just fountains. They were just fountains shooting straight up in the air. And I thought, what a waste of water. Right. And then she said, okay. And they turned off. I don't know if she turned them off or they just went off on a timer. And sure enough, five days later, same thing. (laughs) I thought, what a waste of water, especially in Florida. Florida. That bothered me. There were some bare spots in the lawn. I'm like, well, it's because they're not getting water. Yeah, for sure. (laughs) So anyway. Oh, well. I tried again. I tried, you know, different location. Yeah be good we really we enjoyed it very much i enjoy being with my family and it was just it was good i think we did learn that if we go to florida and at some point get some kind of place where we want to live down there part-time full-time whatever Mm -hmm. it is we know where we're not going to go right which i think is no good to know absolutely good to know it's good so but but i think the owner's area of championship champions gate is a little bit different and yes yeah i'm sure yeah so i it was they're all beautiful homes though very beautiful. They were very nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll have, we'll have other shows coming up about this trip. I think we're going to record one here shortly anyway. I am. Yeah, oh, for sure. Goodness. All right. Anyway. There's um, a lot going on this trip. There was a lot going on. And truth be told, we're not even done. No, we're still here. <laughs> and we're okay with that. We are okay with that. <laughs> oh, anyway, I'm Tim Scott. Facebook, Twitter, the website, resortloop.com. And once again, I was joined by my... Lovely wife, Dawn. <laughs> Everybody, you've been listening to the gateway to the magic by the way if you want to buy a rental property before i wrap this up Mm -hmm. or buy a property just to live in down there that's right you know who to go to it's victor naraki over at disney your doorstep.com he can help he knows all these areas we probably should have consulted him a little bit more on where to rent we should or rent not you know verbo things out we should have although we still would have sorry victor sorry victor yeah that's all it is anyway you've been listening to the gateway to the magic see you everybody Vacation memories will stay with you and your family for a lifetime. The Resort Loop Travel Group was created with this in mind. Our fee-free services will relieve you of the stress and confusion of finding and booking the best vacation at the best price. After booking, we will continue to monitor for ways to save you even more on your vacation. We will check for any upcoming packages and discounts to save you as many vacation dollars as possible. Resort Loop Travel Group, gateway to your magical vacation memories. Get a quote or for more information, visit resortlooptravelgroup.com.